Hey guys, on this episode of Camp Outside, we're going to take a look at campsites 260, 261, 262, 263, and 264 at Channel Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Welcome to my campsite review series for Chain of Lake State Park in Albion, Indiana. What a fantastic place to camp and explore. If you haven't seen our campground overview video, check that out. I'm going to put a link right up here and one down in the description below. Guys, this is an amazing place, so let's get right into the campsite review videos. Chain of Lake State Park is located just northwest of Fort Wayne in Albion, Indiana. It's easily accessed by Chicago and all its suburbs, Lafayette, Indianapolis, Dayton, Ohio, and Southern Michigan. Chain of Lake State Park is a paddler's dream with lots of lakes connected by canals, great for boating and fishing and paddling. It also has a great system of hiking trails and the campground is absolutely enormous with lots of sites a very large play field in the center for kids to play. Just a really nice campground. The nearest restroom to the sites we're going to take a look at today is restroom number three. Restroom three is a full service restroom facility with running water, hot showers, and flush toilets. The first site we're going to take a look at today is site number 260. Site 260 is a back in site and it is indicated by the red arrow. We'll take a look at 260 starting from the campground road. There's the restroom facility right next to this site, so it's nice to be close. It also gives you a little bit of room as most of these sites do not have a lot of space between them. The site is gravel and it sits mostly level. The site is equipped with electric hookup, but there are no water or sewer hookups in the campground. There are dump stations and fill stations if you need that, as well as water spigots throughout the campground for water. This site is equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate, and plenty of grass to pitch a tent or a screen house if needed. That's a look at Site 260. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 261. 261 is a back-in site and it's indicated by the red arrow. So there's the restroom facility again. So this site is right across the street. And as you can see this site is pretty much open with not a lot of shade, maybe just that one tree. So pretty much full sun. This site is very close to its neighboring sites to the left, right, and behind. It's not very deep. There's the electric hookup. And there's the fire pit with grill grate and the picnic table. It's also on a slight decline, so you'll have to do some leveling. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 262. 262 is a back end site, and it's also indicated by the red arrow. So this site is on an intersection. So as you can see, this site is in full sun, so not a lot of shade. This site is pretty close to its neighboring sites to the right and behind it. I didn't avoid that dog as I was shooting the film here, but uh, the site is equipped with electric hookup. It has a fire pit with grill grate and a picnic table. That's a look at site 262. The next site we're going to look at is 263. 
And again, like all the sites in this video, it is a back-end site. So this site is right across from the restroom again. And this site is very shallow. So if you have a pop-up or a small RV or a small travel trailer, you might be able to fit into this site. Uh, if you don't, you'll have to get pretty creative with parking. There's the electric hookup, and as you can see, I mean, it is directly back-to-back -back with the sites behind it. Very close to the sites next to it. No shade, but a picnic table and a fire pit with grill grate. And the last site we're going to look at in this video is Site 264. 264, like all the other sites in this video, is a back-end site. So here's a look at 264 from the road. And this site is a little bit deeper than the other sites we looked at. There's the restroom facility there. And this site also has more shade, which is nice. But this site is still pretty close to its neighbors. There's the electric hookup there. And as we pan around, you'll see the picnic table and fire pit with grill grate. And that's a look at 264 and the sites in this video. Well, I hope you found those campsite reviews useful. We do this everywhere we camp to make it easier for you to select the site when you're going camping, and we want you to have an amazing time at Channel Lake State Park. Guys, I want to thank my sponsors for this video, Mount Comfort RV. Mount Comfort RV is an RV dealer and service center just east of Indianapolis. Guys, if you need an RV, a travel trailer, a camper, a pop-up, a fifth wheel, whatever you need, guys, go see my friends at Mount Comfort RV. Tell them Camp Outside sent you. Guys, they also have a service department, a parts department, and a rental fleet. So if you are thinking about getting into RVing or getting a travel trailer and you're not totally sure, go see my friends at Mount Comfort, rent one of their RVs, and take a trip and see if RVing is right for you. Mount Comfort RV, thanks so much for being such amazing sponsors of Kemp Outside, and thanks for providing the RV for us to do our Indiana summer tour. So guys, Channel Lake State Park was stop two in our six state park Indiana summer tour. So if you want this kind of content for six different state parks in Indiana, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that thumbs up button on this video. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So we want to help you get you and your kids outside. If you have any questions about Chain of Lakes or camping in general or just getting outside, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Also check out our Let's Go Camping TV show produced by Mount Comfort RV. It's a fantastic 30-minute TV show focused on all kinds of camping in and around Indiana. We also do gear giveaways here on Kemp Outside, so make sure that you are following us on Facebook. And also watch this video right up here to learn how we do our gear giveaways. So guys, we normally produce videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time right here on YouTube. But guys, we have so many campsites from this Indiana summer trip as well as some of the other trips that we're taking that we are now bringing you the Chain of Lakes videos on Fridays. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. I hope you found it useful. We will see you at the campground, on the trail, or at the boat ramp. See you next time. Mm -hmm.